Rameshvara Disudul Ruha Padara Vinda Sri Mat Paraga Paramat Bhutavai Bhavaya Sarvarta Sarada Savarsi Kripadri Dristes Tasyana Mostu Vrishabhanu Guru Mahimne I offer my obeisances to the glories of Maharaj Vishabhanu's daughter, Sri Radhika. The beautiful dust of whose lotus feet is hardly attained by Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and others, and whose mer and whose merciful glance, which is endowed with the most astonishing prowess, showers the nectar of the essence of all human pursuits. Love of God. Sri Radha's glories. Read again. The verse again. I offer my obeisances to the glories of Maharaj Vishabhanu's daughter, Sri Radhika. The beautiful dust of whose lotus feet is hardly attained by Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva and others, and whose merciful glance which is endowed with the most astonishing prowess, showers the nectar of the essence of all human pursuits, love of God. Love God. <laughs> Sri Raga's glories. <coughs> Commentary. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, Chitta Drita Kuri Lage Mahima Gyana Hoi. Drita Kuri Lage Mahima. Drita means you have to fix yourself. Mm. Drita. 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 Chitta Drita Kuri Lage. When chitta vritti has to fix one point, mm. then you can understand the glories. Because my chitta vritti is many places running. Mm. In because my practice is material, and my chitta vritti is all in material aspects. How I will understand, because my chitta is not pointed one point. Chitta vritti dhrdha, fixed in one point. Then you will know his glories, his qualities, and and then it will reveal knowledge to inside us. So we have to fix one pointed program in our life. What is giving trouble to disturb your mind, you have to cut it with your management things. If you cannot manage, <coughs> then your vritti will move like this. Sometime for something, sometime for something. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Chitta di kori lagi mai ma jnana hoite. One's heart becomes fixed in faith when one is aware of God's greatness. Mm -hmm. And 
for this reason, Sri Pad continues his auspicious. You don't know the greatness of Swamini. <coughs> we think Krishna greatness. <coughs> When we are fixed in Krishna greatness, then we see the mercy. Krishna also wants mercy from the Radhika. Then our mind fixed in Radhika. He also pray to get some mercy from some. My mind runs for many things useless things. <coughs> and this is our life disturbed. We cannot settle our life anyway. Mm. One's heart becomes fixed in faith. You see, fixed in faith. Zero means fixed. Shraddha means today is little there, but not tomorrow is there. I have a different, different test in my life. I have to test this and this, 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 this. Then it's not fixed. Why jumping? No greed is there. <clears throat> we don't know our qualities, mercy. Why are you running? You waste your time. It will automatic will happen. Fix to yourself and see how things are happening. You never believe what is going to happen in your life if you fixed in some Niradhika, your mind. <coughs> mm. Mm. One's heart becomes fixed in faith when one is aware of God's greatness. And for this reason, Sri Pad continues his auspicious invocation of Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi by praising the prowess of Sri Radha. Rasa, spiritual flavor, is built on the foundation of Tattva, spiritual truth. You see in the tree, one leaf is full of rasa, it's a green, and one is dry because there is no rasa. It's not tasting the, the rasa of the tree. What happened? It become dry, right? And the green tree, leaves are, means he's taking taking the rasa, juice of the tree. What is the, the this leaf will never fall down from the tree because it's connected with rasa. And one who's not connected is dry. It means no rasa is there in the, from the tree is coming. In the nature, Little air can fall him down. Our life become like a ni rasa. <coughs> no rasa is there. You are like a dry leaf. Is a nature to suffer? This leaf will fall down. It's going to suffer. Maximum it can become fertilizer. <laughs> mm. 
So, if you want to be connected with the tree, this leaf is always green, always full of rasa, and it, it gives good to look also. You don't like to take dry leaf in, if in the plant you cut out. You throw it out because it make the plant bad to see. <clears throat> so it's useless to become dry without rasa. It's stopping the light from the sun to reach the other green leaves also. Yes, it's, I, it's not practical. You see why you remove the dry leaves? because he's not connected. What you will do with that? <coughs> useless, this mm, taking birth become useless. It become dry. Don't give chance to be a dry leaf yourself. Understand? This is rasa. If you are connected, you will never dry. If I have to leave my body, after people will remember me because I am connected. If I am dry leaf, nobody will post. It is a garbage only. It becomes garbage in living. People will say better it best. It was the weight of the earth. It gone, no problem. Nobody will think, and if you are connected, everybody will think for you. You never die because you are connected. Even you want to die with connections. Hmm? That's the point. Rasa, spiritual flavor, is built on the foundation of tattva, spiritual truth. You see? The rasa built on tattva. Tattva means the philosophy. Is the basic, is the base of the rasa, is the foundation, is the philosophy. Spiritual truth. Spiritual truth. Mm. What is a spiritual truth? Only three things is a spiritual truth. Other is religious. Mm. Three things existing is a spiritual truth. Sambandha, avideha, and pariyojana. Sambandha means how you develop yourself in relation with Krishna. Avideha how you differentiate your body and soul. Avi de. Avi means make separate to this body, to your real identity. Avideha. And from this avideha, not from this body, <coughs> from this body you develop paryojan, loving relation, with the divine couple. Simple. Simple. This is the base of the tattva, philosophy. You read all philosophy, again and again, again this based on these three things. Is there is nothing more and than this. All books will mention with Sambandha, avideha and pariyojana. And these three things Prabhupada writes in page 4, if you understand, everything will become crystal clear in your life. This is the best of the philosophy, based, philosophy based on this. is a foundation, philosophy, then your love can go.
Hmm. When, <clears throat> when that foundation is not there, in other words, when one disregards or does not know spiritual truth, then the rasa may seem to be mundane. Yeah. If you don't know the spiritual truth, <coughs> rasa is the spiritual truth. Ah. Rasa means greenness. Rasa means living, <coughs> feelings. Who can feel that is rasa? If you have no feeling, it's like a bottle, material. It's like a pillow, it's material, no feeling. And if you have a feeling, then you are qualified to get one rasa. And you have a siddhant, you based on the philosophy, then rasa you can test. And siddhanta is this, that you have to be in avidya, you have to be in your spiritual form, identity, to get the rasa. If you not do this, it will become mundane. If I want to take rasa from my this body, it will be totally crazy material thing. Simple, you see. Everything is so clear. And you say, I will read one thousand books to know philosophy. It's, truth is this, what Prabhupada writes in page four. You search all books, you are a researcher, you research and find what is the truth, what is the philosophy. Our Gaudiya philosophy, what is the best? Anartha will not go in this body till it not become ashes. Then how you will never... Only if you identify from this to separate to yourself, a spiritual identification. And if you, by the mercy of Radhika, you got the shelter in her, and he give you form of her, that you are my servant, then you will fix this form. Then you are not a marginal potency that for two minutes you become, you start liking, and after two minutes you forget everything. This is the marginal potency do. Knowing by soul you will do like this because you are marginal. For five minute test is come, and after five minute test gone. Because you don't identify who are you. This is the truth. <coughs> this is the Siddhanta. <coughs> now go on. In his commentary on verse 10... If this is clear, now you go in commentary, no problem. You, you where, from where you will listen, not from this flash. You will listen from here. You don't know your sarup form, no problem. But you accept that I am a Radha Dasi and I want to listen to that. <coughs> I want to be a servant. I want to be change myself to be a servant. She will have manage everything for you. Go. In his commentary on verse 10, 12, 10 of the Bhagavad, Sri Jiva Goswami writes, God is supreme truth who is full of extraordinary self 
perfect prowess and sweetness. Again, God is the supreme truth who is full of extraordinary self-perfect prowess and sweetness. And in the 40th chapter of the Patalakanda of Padma Purana, Sri Narada Muni offers most respectful prayers to Sri Radha. Brajadam is the abode of sweetness and Sri Radharani is sweetness personified. Therefore, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas show all the devotees of the world who meditate on the Lord's Vrindavan pastimes the sweetness of Sri Radha. But sometimes the Goswamis also hint. They hint, they show at her great majestic aspect, which is the foundation on which the palace of her charming sweetness is built. Again. Vrajadam is the abode of sweetness and Sri Radharani is sweetness personified. Therefore, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas show all the devotees of the world who meditate on the Lord's Vrindavan pastimes the sweetness of Sri Radha. But sometimes the Goswamis also hint at her great majestic aspect, which is the foundation on which the palace of her charming sweetness is built. Such is the case in this and in the next verse. The dust of Sri Radha's lotus feet has such divine power that it cannot even be perceived by great gods like Lord Brahma. <laughs> In Srimad Bhagavat, it is mentioned that Lord Brahma was astonished at seeing the sweetness of Krishna's Pau Ganda Lila. Pau Ganda Lila is his pastime as a five to nine years old boy. When he is in the, when he brings with the cow with his cowboy's friend and he is eating one circle, he make one circle, and he sit in in the center of the circle, and he is telling to all his friends, "What you your mother give in the tiffin?" They all open the tiffin, and Jasoda Ma also give makhan misri to him. So, you know, you remember your childhood. When you, your mother gives tiffin to you, you always want to taste different tests. <laughs> so Krishna also today wants to taste this. All the mothers, what they cook for his child. <laughs> huh? And sometimes he eat in his mouth. And sometimes he give his things to them friend mouth and then he eat. Sometimes he take from other friend and give his in mouth and then he eat in his mouth. So he's doing like a real friendship. That friend not think that first I have to take the re and I will give my reverence to them. He's taking the reverence and uh, what do you say? Yeah. Right. Reverent, ah, right? 
remnants of his friends in his mind, mouth. And he feel proud with this. Brahma looking from out up, he said, what? He is the Lord, Supreme Lord. We all were praying for His reverence to take and He is eating up the small boys all Utah. <coughs> he cannot be a Supreme Lord. He is just like a child. So He become doubtful. Then he said, today I have to check this boy because he is genuine Lord or not, I have to check. So when after eating he become too much eating of all tiffins, so he starts sleeping, resting. This time Brahma bring him to the cave and the close the cave. So all cows and all his friends inside the cave and he closed the cave. Krishna wake up. You see, no my cows are here, no my friends are here. What happened? Then he closed his eyes and he see, oh, this is the work of Brahma. He do this. He bring all my friends and cow to close in the cave and they are inside. So Krishna himself expelled all the cows, calves, baby cow, everything and the, his friends from himself. Why? After I will say. Mm-hmm. But here we come. And then again Krishna start playing with all of them. <laughs> and when they went back to home, they become all mother become very happy because they're Whole life they are desired to be that Krishna become my son. <coughs> so no mother wants to leave his boys now. The the cows giving more milk because when they see the calf, the baby cow, then he sees, oh, he's a Krishna here. So he more and more double milk. <laughs> Nobody wants to leave his baby. Nobody wants to go out. All are inside the home. Nobody, mother wants to leave his sons. Eh? It was going on six months, one year. But Ram asks, what happened? His whole system was changed. Before, like a different was there, now it's become different. Then he meditate and he see, oh, it's all place, Krishna is there. <laughs> then he Krishna, what you are doing? I see every place to you. <laughs> he said, yes. This was the desire of the cow. I become cow. I become baby cow. This was the desire of all Prajvasi. So I become this. Their son. All son. And here he it start interviewing to the Brahma. So forehead Brahma. So he was sitting, he see hundred head Brahma is going. He said, who are you? I am Brahma. Where you are going? I am going to give interview because Krishna is inviting us. So this way all 
ten heads Brahma, twenty heads Brahma, they are going, and four head is asking where you are going. Is an interview. Krishna is taking interview for appointment of new Brahma. <laughs> <laughs> he is taking interview. Then Brahma run. He says, "Excuse me." So you will see never Shiva puja you can see Ganesh puja you can see, but there is no Brahma puja in India. They no make any Brahma puja. Only in Pushkar there is one place they got the worship because they offended to Krishna's devotee friends Brahma. But at the same time, Brahma confused this Krishna creation, what make this mind to him, because he wants to fulfill the desire of all Prajivasis <laughs> and the cows. So he confused to Brahma to do this. <laughs> this is the real fact that he do this. Krishna, by his uh, <laughs> trick, he do this. That Brahma do this, and he will. Nobody will worship him. Both <laughs> is all. Even Radha and Krishna in Goloka, they are a couple, married couple. One day, Radhika is in the meditation of Krishna. He is meditating. That time, his brother come. He says, Rad. Sister, sister, and she was so deep in meditation of Krishna. He no listening. He said, "I have a very important talk to talk with you." He said, huh? "No listening." He said, "You are not listening to me. I want to talk very important thing, but I say you one thing. You will never see hundred years this man what you are meditating." Hundred year, you have no connection with. Him. You will be always feeling separation, and he will never come near to you. He cannot be a near. No, you cannot be a couple. You cannot be together. Separate for hundred years. What you say, sarap? He she, he he like do this. Radhika was very upset. She is she running went to Krishna. Krishna, this my brother telling to me like this. It will be fact. <coughs> Krishna said, "Yes, it will be fact. How I will live without you?" I also, Krishna said, "I also want to test." How I will live without you? And you have to think how you will live without me. But we will have very intense love there, because I cannot feel new taste every day in Sakya to husband wife together. So I have a desire to feel Parikya. Means without marriage. marriage, what is the test of the love? So I want to feel that. So that way, I make this, and this is only one time will happen. And hundred years, you will be married with other man, and we are. I will be with you in love. And you will be only looking, thinking for me, <coughs> because we are married couple. But your separation and union meetings will be very intense for <coughs> us, and this way we can help to the sakis and manjiri of your friends, because in conjugal love, sakia, we we don't you don't need any your friends. To know, 
But this way, you have to take help from your friends. Sakhis and Manjari will more, get more benefit in this way because we cannot meet without their help. We will become puppet of them. They will play with us. <laughs> These Manjaris will play. What they will like, you have to do. What they will like, I have to do. And I will feel different taste with that. <laughs> So this is the desire of Krishna and Radhika, not but Krishna agreed to Radhika to do that. So this is Vrindavan. So not you think that this was the only pastime happening. It in Goloka always happening in Sakya Bhav. Only in Vrindavan it happens Parkya Bhav to help the sakhis, gopis, and manjaris, and kinkaris. How much you become close and reliable, you will get that test. Now I know what you said, Gurudev, the other day. We don't want golos and like braja. This is, this is good. If you want to go Sakya Bhav, is a Goloka. No. <laughs> if you want to go to Pargya Bhav, is a Braja. Vrindavan. It's different. It's your test. Yes. Yeah. Go on. <coughs> the dust of Sri Radha's lotus feet. Mm has such divine power that it cannot even be perceived by great gods like Lord Brahma. In Srimad Bhagavatam, even, huh? in Goloka, Brahma, Lakshmi cannot do. <coughs> Other cannot do. Shiva become Gopeshwar there. In Brajabhumi also. Gopeshwar means Gopi Ishwara. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because Shiva is a Augardani. Hmm. Means he is a very merciful, forgiving. You ask, you go and do too much water, bringing everyday water, put water is no costing, go in tap, fill it, and give every day to water, to one bucket of water on his head. <coughs> put some milk in his flower, it's not cost to you. But, and you know, ask from him. What will happen, you know? He will give his best thing to you, bhakti. Huh? And if you ask something, he give immediate to you. So gopis know this trick of Shiva that he is a very big giver. Blindly he is giving. So gopis goes to give everyday water and milk and flour. Why? If I pray, oh, I need a husband like Krishna, so he will give me. Now, this Krishna's friend, all is the husband of the gopis, right? Now today Krishna become husband of all gopis, no? because he is in all sakhas. <laughs> Mother is going to give water and this to the Shiva. What? That Krishna become my son. <laughs> so fulfill that desire, the, all the young boy, um, friend of Krishna, they become 
Krishna to give the motherly love to all Brajvas. As per their desire, father also wants that I want Krishna as my son. Now all they don't want to live, mother don't want to live. <coughs> This way, their all desire is fulfilled in a braja. But they cannot get the service here. Only the lovers get the service who has a desire for that. Why Narayan Maharaj is writing greed? This greed is necessary. One dinner, faith is some. Your chitta has to fix one point. My chitta is running for many things. My mind is running for many things. I know fix for one thing. And the time come when my chitta is fixed and my greed is there, it happens. <coughs> Yeah, go on. <clears throat> In Srimad Bhagavatam, it is mentioned that Lord, Bra <coughs> Lord Brahma was astonished at seeing the sweetness of Krishna's Pauganda Lila. You see, sweetness. What is that? That sweetness of exchange of love in between is Paganda Lila. Paganda means the seven, eight years boys when they do that, eating from the other mouth to him, giving in his mouth something. It's a sweet pastime. When he see, he becomes surprised. He cannot calculate himself is possible or not. Sweetness become doubtful. Who is more in nature, they cannot understand. <laughs> you see, when they see the sweetness of Raya Ramananda and Mahaprabhu meeting, huh? this Kalamkandi Brahman, they say, oh, they become crazy about <laughs> this king is ruling like a, like a, he want to become sadhu or what, sannyasi or what. And this sannyasi is ruling to see one king, he, he want to take some money or, or kingdom or what. They cannot calculate, they calculate with the money calculation. They cannot see this sweetness. They don't know about the sweetness. So Bhadi Bhaktas, cannot understand the sweetness and the rasik bhakta cannot understand the, <laughs> the karam kandis. This is the problem. <laughs> they cannot calculate. Mahaprabhu and Raya Ramananda, this karam kandi cannot understand. So, Mahaprabhu said, this is not right time and the right place for this, because this Karamkanda is with you and they want to bring you to Karamkanda. So go and do that, Bhadi Bhakti, because they come with you to do Bhadi Bhakti. We will sit in alone and share with you, because you are my friend, you are Visakha. And I took this Mayavadi vase, I dressed like Mayavadi sannyasi, so I need to, to go again in the past time. The one lover who is in the love, they need one friend who can reveal the past time of his life that Again, the taste of love increase inside. 
with, a, with a friend. Friend. Mm. So Ramananda is Bisakha and Chaitanya is Radhika. Mm. So Radhika need the association of Vishakha to reveal the pastime, what happened in the separation and meeting with the Krishna. So they need privacy. And the lovers never talks. She happy to listen the her pastime and he <coughs> love her pastime. So Ramanand is telling as a Visakha, Radhika is remembering her pastime with Krishna. <laughs> this is happening. Radha, Rai Ramananda Sambhad. Glorious. Huh? Glorious. <laughs> this is the beauty. Ah. Yeah. This is sweetness. Sweetness only you can share with the sweet people who is the rasik that you are sweet people. Other karm kandi will never understand. They will calculate different way. Is wrong thing what is happening. They are crazy. But they talk like this. <laughs> it should be ritual and all all regulative principle is important in life. You are Jananda? Yes. <laughs> if regulative principle is not following, anartha nivritti not happen, it will never work. Are anartha will never go, my dear. These senses are anartha, this flesh is anartha. This cannot go. You cannot cut your senses, you cannot cut your flesh, because it is the, your land to live. It is a door and window of senses, a door and window. But why not you? Detach from that yourself to the reality, what you are. Or an artha will go if you identify that you are a soul and your sarup, then all an artha will go because you are identifying different place yourself. <coughs> Is your land? Is your room? Room cannot create an artha. When I say that I am senses, then an artha is there. When you are not, is a room, your room to live, is what it will make an artha to me? Is body is my room to live. It will help me, give me comforts. They cannot control me. Understand or not? Yes. Yes? Yeah. This is anartha nivrit, automatic anartha nivrit. And then bhajan kriya will happen. <laughs> yeah, go on. Lord Brahma was astonished at seeing the sweetness of Krishna's Pauganda Lila, mm. of having a picnic on the bank of the Jamuna and that he offered many prayers to Krishna, some prayers full of sweetness, some full of reverence. For instance, I will be most blessed if I can take any kind of birth, even a subhuman one, in this forest of Gokul, so that I can be sprinkled by the foot dust of one of its inhabitants, <coughs> whose very life is the Supreme Lord Mukunda, whose foot dust is even sought, is even searched for by the Vedas. Yeah. In his Sarartha Varshini commentary on this verse, 
Sri Vishwana Chakravarti Pad writes that Lord Brahma was so astonished by seeing Krishna's pastimes that he did not have the courage to directly ask for the dust from the lotus feet of the cowed boys. <coughs> Therefore, he prayed that he could uh, take birth as a tile, a stone, or something like that, outside the house of any low-caste person living on the outskirts of Raj, so that he can sprinkle his whole body with that person's foot dust. From this, it is easy to understand that it's very difficult for Lord Brahma to have a glimpse of the dust from Prishabhanu Nandini's Radha's lotus feet. The dust of the coward boys and girls of Raj is also difficult to attain in Lord Shiva's abode, Mount Kailas. So Lord Shiva sought his such residence in Raj under the name of Gopishwar. Go on. He searched residence in Vraj, hoping to attain some of that dust. But when Radha and the gopis saw him, they prayed for the dust of his lotus feet you instead. Gopeshwara. He said, I want your dust, gopis. Why you want my dust? I want to fulfill your desire, putting water and dust from you, that you give me Krishna, my, because you are giving to everyone. You will see every Krishna temple, Nandagango. Here you see, every place you will see Gopeshwar, because he helping me to make relation, <laughs> love with Krishna. He is the giver of love, bhakti, Gopeshwara. Gopi is worshipping to Shiva to make Krishna my husband. So unfortunate, he cannot take the dust of gopis also, <laughs> because gopi is very clever. He did dust of Shiva. <laughs> Yeah. But how can Shiva help the gopis to get married with Krishna? They all married, you see now, because when Krishna become all Brajvasi of the whole Braja, what happened? The, his husband is in the cave, and Krishna is there. He fulfilled desire of Krishna. Krishna fulfilled the desire of all the uh, gopis in Braja that Krishna become husband and they see Krishna. They have so much love, no gopi wants to leave his husband, no mother wants to leave his son, no father wants to leave his son. Everyone become. No cow wants to leave his calf, baby, because he see Krishna there. He give more and more milk three times. When baby need, he gives milk. He says, so fortunate. They, they are fulfilling their desire. But we want to be Manshari. We also have to pray to Krishna. This is the preparation to be understand Manjari. How the important of dust of Radhika is there. <laughs> Manjari means determination, fixed, dirt sankal. My chitta vritti is not go other place. Then Manjari. My vritti running for any things then manjari is not possible to become. We have to 
we have to so fix with my vritti, my mind, that my no need diverse for any other things. <coughs> no other desire now. But for Manjari also need to pray to Shiva to do this water and milk. Manjari is all prepared. Gopi is preparing. Manjari is God. Kripa Siddha. They got all mercy in the life. You doing to Shiva or not? You prepared already, then you become Manjari. Everyone go through that way. You come, you start doing to Shiva worshipping. Then you slowly you will get the Manjari Sarup. Vrindavan entrance is first worshipping Shiva. And then the when determination comes for Radhika Dasyam, then it's become Manjari. Then Radhika give us form. This is your name, this is your age, this is your cloth color, this is your body color, this is your seva, this is your kunja, this is your nature. And then you have to be in that practice to 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 take the shelter of Samani and always think, think seven, eight things, that's it. All conclude there in eight, eight words, all your philosophy. If you realize this, your spiritual form, manjari form, asthai bhav, this is asthai fixed, Nobody can move you. Like, I give you one example. Because Jesus was fixed in his mood in Bhastara Rasa. He never moved. Show me any time that he moved with something from his son and father relation. You know, fixed. He always fixed. He never moved. So he never move that way. He never he is living now also. This determination makes you perfection in your sarup. He was in sarup or not? Of course. This is his determination is in form. This is a spiritual. It's not religious. He don't come to teach religion. We priests make one religion, one institution to eat the blood and flesh of, in the name of the Lord. <laughs> you see, we make for the blood and the flesh we eat in the name because we have no capacity to do this type of determination in life. We want to leave, we want to maintain ourselves because we have no determination to fix myself. So we give the name of religion, we give this. Mahaprabhu not make any religion. He was the love, giving of the love. Gauravani is to give love. Radhika, what she can do? Radhika knows only about love of Krishna. That's it. <coughs> Why Krishna will say of love of Krishna? Huh? Huh? Anyone can say about himself, love me. Are why? Radhika is telling love Krishna. <laughs> this is Gauranga. Mm. This is Gauravani. Krishna will say, go to Radhika to learn the love. Go to Gurudev to understand Guru Nistha, what is meaning of Guru Nistha, what is meaning to form faith. Practice there. 
Krishna will save you. But Radhika will say, only love Krishna. If you don't know, I will teach you how to love him. <laughs> huh? This is Gauravadi. This is the teaching of Gauranga. Right? I come for that. <clears throat> we both come together. One will say for other, other will say for other. Sometime I will, Radhika will say for Krishna and sometime Krishna will say to Radhika. Jani Thai, Green. So, Lord Shiva, <coughs> he came to Braj and he got the name Gopishwar. And he was hoping to attain some of that dust. But when Radha and the Gopis saw him, they prayed for the dust of his lotus feet instead, hoping that in this way they could attain Sri Krishna. Yeah. Who is clever? <laughs> Gopis has more desire. So he said, You are my Ishwara. Why you need my dust? I need from you. You have to give me. You are giver. You are the best giver. I come to you first. I need your dust. I need your mercy. For what? Shiva. I need Krishna. You teach me how to love Krishna, how to be close with Krishna. How to love Krishna and live with Krishna, I, how to make husband to him. I was want to go in intense love with Krishna. And I know, I believe that you, when I will say, you will give, this is your kripa. You cannot say without giving. You are the best giver. Where are they? Radhe, Radhe, Didi, welcome. She, she brought for you your mic. Jaiho, Jaiho. She's from Hong Kong, my Janaki. Jaiho, Jaiho. Welcome, welcome. Come, come, come. You will hear Maharaji with your own hand. Jaiho. Hello, Jam, Didi, how was you? Thank you. So nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jaiho. You did it. It's so kind of you. I'm keeping your place, you see. That you will sit. Please sit. Yeah. Sit, sit down. Oh, sorry. No, no problem. You make your feet up on the desk. My God, is it new? Yes, I asked her and she said, oh, no, there is no more. And then this morning phone call came. I have a mic for your Maharaj. <laughs> and then she asked me, who's Maharaj? Mm -hmm. I said to Maharaj, oh, I know him. She's from Hong Kong. <laughs> You're from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, what are any arrangements? How wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shall I show you how to... Yeah. He is reading something. Read. Oh, sorry, uh, we are yeah. interrupting. Sorry, after, sorry. after we will do. Acha, tiki. Read. Read, Baba. <coughs> ah. So, so he hoped, uh, or they hoped, that they would in this way attain Sri Krishna. Last. The gopis think that if the gopeshwar will become happy, then I will get my Krishna. Gopeshwar come to take the dust of gopis 
but the gopis are more advanced and faster to get the dust of Shiva and praying to him because he is a very merciful giver. So they reach first and they put the alts and Gopeshwar become very happy. He said, yes, yes, you will get. <laughs> so he become Gopeshwar. So he cannot get, get the dust of gopis. Mm. Understand? Yeah. Ah, go on. Yeah. So, thus it is very hard for Sriman Mahad, Sriman Mahadev, Shiva, to attain Sri Radha's foot dust also. Mm. The dust of Sri Radha's lotus feet is called Srimat. Wow. Sri? Mat. Mat. What is the meaning of that? Filled with opulences. <laughs> Mana Sri means Radhika. Any place you see the Sri means Radhika is there. You know? If you write to someone, you have to write Sri, such and such. <laughs> Without Sri you cannot write, because the Sri, the identity, the soul is Sri, and that's come from Radhika's mercy, the form also there. So Sri such and such, Sri Mati such and such. Miss in Western, but here, here Sri, Sri is very important. Sri means the life. Who has no life, they will not like Sri, write Sri. So some dead person, you will not write Sri. And any opulence come in anyone is the mercy of Sri. That is Srimat. Mati, giving Mati, intelligence, all qualities coming in the life. So you can see this also in some letters of Prabhupada. He is writing to his disciples also, Sri Man, such a such, or, mm -hmm. yes, Sri Man. He is an etiquette, such. etiquette yes. of this. We say to our Gurudev also, because she is the kinkiri of Radhika. We don't understand, but doing. <laughs> we say Srimad Gurudev. Why? Because this is talking to Srimad Lotus Dust he has. He has the quality to become Kinkri of Radhika. He got it. He is a perfect there. So, this Sri Mat is there. Math is good. Mind is very fixed in one point. He has all good qualities inside come by her grace. Uh, you see? Sri Govinda. What is meaning? What Govinda without Sri? <laughs> Sri Govinda. If you not write Radha Govinda, after that you write Sri Govinda. Either Radha Govinda or Sri Govinda. But means a Radha Govinda. <laughs> this understanding should be clear. Without Radhika, Govinda is not possible. Without Gurudev, uh, Radhika Gurudev means what connection he has with the Sri. Without connection with the Sri Kinkaris, Gurudev cannot bring him there to me. This is the goal of our life, who can bring me to Radhika. And that is we go to the Gurudevi, that he was very close and dear because Srimad is very close to him. 
His one-pointed program is moving in his life. And Gurudev is always living within our heart because he is connected with Srimati. Never he cha- he physical form he change, but his spiritual form never change. He change his spirit physical form to be in his spiritual form, in his king Kirisaru. So always he is in the service of Radharani. Always you will go, you will see every time if you are. If you are real, we are real devotee of our Gurudev, we will <coughs> always do Mahajan Gata Sopantha. We will do the same service that always I will be with my Gurudev. Sometimes somebody asks, what is my Guru Dakshana? I see your Guru Dakshana that you do, <laughs> what you have to do, your bhajan, that will be your Guru Dakshana when you will come together with service there, <laughs> together. Gurudev will be more happy if you become real servant of Gurudev that you are always trying to help him every circumstances where he is with Srimati Radhika and you are also in the service there and you will see all Mahajans. They are all Kinkiris. They are Radhika. is not many Radhika. There is only one Radhika. So all you will see they are there and they will teach you there also. All in the Manjari Saru, they are together they are sharing, loving, because we are all Rupa Anuga. We will all Anugata there to Rupa Goswami and our Guru Manjaris. Yes, Didi? Perfect. You see? <laughs> <coughs> this is the Siddhanta. All of them. Prabhupada is there. Narayan Maharaj is there, my Gurudev is there, your Gurudev is there, all there. But they are in Siddha ways. You cannot, if you don't know your Siddha ways, you cannot see him there because you will not identify him. Only your Siddha ways can see that ways. Your Sadhak ways cannot identify that. Go. <coughs> The dust of Sri Raga's lotus feet is called Srimad. <coughs> Srimad, filled with opulences. Even for the goddess. Is of not opulence that Krishna will come to you and request, Can you arrange my meeting? <laughs> she is very angry, and you can arrange something that she become peaceful and she can call me. You can do something for me. Please, I will give you everything what you like. And you say, I don't need anything, but I will do my best. It's <laughs> not opponents. <laughs> Kinkiri, this is the mercy of Radha and Krishna. You cannot get in Goloka what they giving in Parkiya Bhav in Brajadpum. Because they are Sakya in there, right? Parkiya how can give you importance of kinkiri and gopis? Yes. <laughs> and they give mercy, not their importance. Manjari is important and kinkiri is important, is more important than them. 
Mansa. <laughs> this is the great Mansa. Really? Huh? Really? Really. So fortunate. So we don't need to lose our time, my dear. It will not become so favorable in my life what happened in this life. Life is fortunate. We are very favorable circumstances we have. You got the Gurudev, you got the Prabhupada, you got the all the reality, no no diversion. You straight you come to Brindava. You got to listen these things that what is the mercy of Radhika. You are listening to Radhika. It's not mercy of Krishna. Only Krishna can bring us to Radhika because this is Radhika's Krishna. And Krishna Radhika. No other can give. When they think, Krishna think that you are qualified for Radhika service, then they bring to Siddha Guru. <coughs> Realize Guru that now you take shelter and they will bring you the right position. To yeah, Guru there. All circumstances yeah. will change. No, this is, I'm telling, not I am bogus, I am not a student for that. I am preparing myself. I am not qualified, honest I am telling you. Only with the association of the Vaish Mahajans, something I listen, I share with you. I have no qualification. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Even for the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi. You see? This foot dust is very <laughs> difficult to attain. You see? <laughs> Everybody knows that she's in there. <laughs> she's still trying. <laughs> she don't want to take the, the foot dust of gopis. She wants to go direct to Krishna. She can be sitting in the bell <laughs> Wow! How we can go to Krishna when Rajshmi cannot go to Krishna direct? Without shelter of Radhika, how we will get the Krishna? Is my, my wrong choose, no, wrong way? Who say is wrong way? How? The Lakshmi is so close with Narayan, he wants to go to Krishna, he cannot reach because <laughs> sitting there, because he don't want to take the dust of Radhika. And I neglect Radhika and want to go to Krishna, impossible. I don't want to go to Krishna. Huh? I don't want to go to Krishna. <laughs> hmm. Without Radhika. When you ask to someone devotee, they will say, I am not qualified to listen about Radhika. I am not qualified to talk about Radhika. Are you, no, you have no desire for that. Narana say, you, you say qualification is not there. You have a no greed. Your greed is your qualification. If you have a greed, no qualification required. Your greed is your qualification. Huh? Beg, borrow or steal, we are stealing or not? <laughs> this is a stealing of what you say, <laughs> stealing. Sometimes we are begging, sometimes we are borrowing, and sometimes we are stealing, <laughs> but we want the goal. <laughs> Radhe. 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 Radhe.
Hey!